Hello guys, Softony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating a corporate slideshow here in After Effects step by step. This is a cool technique that everyone can use to make their unique slideshow and intro and you can also create many cool stuffs using this cool technique. And before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, also hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video tutorials. And without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and start creating! Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition. Hit on this little icon or Ctrl or Command plus N on your keyboard. This is gonna be final 9020 by 1080 30 frames per second and duration i will go to around 7 seconds but of course you can type here your own duration now hit ok and it's time to create our background go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be background also 9020 by 1080 and then hit ok now go here in the facts and presets and if you can't find the facts and presets just go window and you will find effects and presets here now let's type fill effect drag and drop onto the background solid layer okay and for the color change according to your needs i will do maybe this dark blue color okay in every moment later on you can go here and change the colors for now hit okay i will close also this effects control for now and our next step is to create another composition hit on this little icon again this is gonna be media background also seven seconds 90 20 by 10 80 and then hit okay now, as you can see, I already have here in the project window media background. Of course, you will import your own media. Just drag and drop here in our new composition. Hit S for scaling if you need. OK, something like this. Readjust it, use arrows on your keyboard. OK, go here in the final composition. Now drag and drop this media background like so. And this is looking awesome. Now go here at zero frames and hit S for scaling. I will do 115 for this image. Set up the first keyframe and then go to around 7 seconds and then let's go to around 100. And now as you can see we have this cool and nice movement of our media background. Okay, now let's create another solid layer. Go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be background matte and for the width instead of this full HD let's type here 3840 by 2160. This is 4K solid and then hit OK. And now, as you can see, this matte solid layer is double size of our background solid layer. Okay, now select it, hit Q on your keyboard or go here and find ellipse tool and go here to the center and let's draw a perfect circle like this. Hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt on your keyboard. Select this matte solid layer and just let's draw a perfect circle like this. Just make sure that this circle go beyond the composition boundaries, something like this, and just unselect everything. Okay, now select here again on our matte solid layer. Hit on this uh, little icon pen behind tool. You can also turn on snapping and move this anchor point all the way down somewhere around here. Now we will animate our circle. Go here at maybe two seconds and 10 frames, set up the first keyframe for rotation, hit R and then go here at zero frames and let's type here 160. And now as you can see we have this cool movement of our solid layer. Now let's go and select this media background and for the track mat and if you can find track mats just hit here toggle switches and modes, okay, let's find alpha mat. And now when we hit zero this is looking cool. And for the next step is to select both of the keyframes, go right click, keyframe assistance and easy ease or just hit F9 on your keyboard, go to graph editor and just draw a curve like this. And if you can't find curve like this, go right click and find here edit speed graph. Now hit zero and we have this cool looking animation of our background. Okay, our next step is to create another composition. Hit again on this little icon. This is gonna be just media 01. And for the width, let's go 1080 by 1080, width and height, okay, seven seconds long, and then hit okay. As you can see, I already have this media 01 here in the project window, just drag and drop here in the new composition. Hit S for scaling if you need. Readjust it, use arrows again on your keyboard. 
like this. Okay, now go here in the final composition and just drag and drop this new media 01 composition here in the finals. Now hit P for position and move it maybe to the right side, somewhere around here. And for the next step, really important is to unselect everything. Okay, find here again this ellipse tool, set the fill to this solid color, stroke to none. And you can also turn on this titles and action save. And from somewhere around here, let's hold again, control, shift and alt and draw a perfect circle like this. This is gonna be our mat for our media and this is looking awesome. Okay, now let's rename this one to media mat, something like this, okay. And now let's animate. Now go here to around maybe two seconds, hit P for position, set up the first keyframe, then go to around zero seconds and move this all the way to around here to go out of the borders of our composition. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9, also go to graph editor and let's maybe draw a curve like this. And now when we hit zero, we have also something like this. In every moment you can readjust the keyframes and now select this media 01 and find here alpha mat. Hit zero and maybe to readjust the keyframes, go somewhere around here from the first second and second one to maybe around four seconds. Okay, hit zero. And this is looking awesome. Readjust it according to your needs, something like this. And now let's also duplicate this media 01 and media mat. Select them, hit control plus D. This second one move maybe 20 frames ahead. Okay, hit zero. This is our background and our cool animation. And let's also select this first media 01, go in the facts and preset, find Triton effect. Okay, drag and drop. And here basically play around with the colors. Okay. Also what we can do is to go right click, find here layer styles and find here stroke, change color to maybe white color, hit OK, hit Ctrl plus C for this stroke and paste it also on this media 01. This is looking cool, hit zero again, our background and our media is looking perfect. OK. Now let's create text here in the final composition, hit Ctrl plus T or go again here on this uh, little icon and I will just type corporate for this first text. I'm using this Montserrat extra bold font for the font size, let's go somewhere around 70. Okay, you can readjust it here in the finals, use arrows on your keyboard. Okay, now hit Ctrl plus D on this corporate text or go edit and then duplicate. Move this corporate to text to around here use arrows again. I will just rename this one to slideshow. Okay. And for the second text, instead of this 70, let's go to around 35. And for the extra bold, I will go regular. Okay. Now open up this little triangle, go to animate, find here tracking. And for the tracking amount, let's go to around 20. Okay. And reposition here again. This is looking cool. And now let's also create background for this slideshow text. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard again, or go and find this rounded rectangle tool. Make sure that fill color is set to this solid color and stroke to none. And unselect everything and just draw a shape like this. This is looking cool. Okay, this is gonna be just text background. Okay, now hit on this slideshow text move it above this text background, go here in the facts and preset, find fill effect, drag and drop onto the slideshow text. And for the color, let's go maybe this blue color or according your needs. Just play around with the options until you're satisfied with the final results. Hit OK. And let's also create third text. But before that, let's also reposition this slideshow to the center somewhere around here. Cool. And hit Ctrl plus T again. I will just draw a box like this and I have already my text copied here. I will just hit Ctrl plus V. Okay, this is gonna be also Montserrat and for the font size I will go somewhere around 20. You can also play around here with the leading. Okay, I will do to around 20 or maybe 30, something like this. And also move it 
somewhere around here or select also this slideshow text background and corporate move it slightly to the left just to be aligned with everything and now let's animate our text select this corporate text go to around one second go in the facts and preset find typewriter effect drag and drop onto the corporate hit you to show all of the keyframes and as you can see our animation is looking nice also let's go and select this third text also go here to around one second and just drag and drop the same effect like before and now this is looking awesome and also let's animate this second text first we will animate this text background okay select this one okay then go here and select this icon pen behind tool and just move this anchor point around here as you can see my snapping option is turned on now hit s for scaling uncheck this constraint proportion option okay then go to around maybe also one second hit s for scaling also hit here zero and then go to around maybe three or four seconds maybe three seconds and let's type here 100 now select the keyframes hit f9 go to rough editor and draw like this now when we hit zero we have something like this this is looking cool and for the final step let's go and select this uh, slideshow text but before that let's close this now select this text background hit ctrl plus d move it above slideshow and let's also rename this one to matte something like this okay and select this slideshow text and let's find the option alpha matte now hit zero again and our slideshow is looking awesome for the next step let's also create our grid go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be grid and also let it be 9020 by 1080 instead of this 4k solid okay then go here in the facts and preset find grid effect drag and drop onto the solid layer and for the size from change to width slider for the width let's go to around 100 maybe something like this and for the border let's try maybe two and let's also change blending mode from normal to overlay and as you can see we also have these cool grid lines here in the final composition you can hit t to play around with the opacity everything is up to you okay now hit zero again to see our preview and our preview is looking awesome also what we can do here is to select this media background go right click and find here also layer styles stroke and change color to white and when our transition goes you can also see stroke line of our background of our media background and this is looking really cool and really awesome what we can do for the next step is to create lights go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be light 01 also 1920 by 1080 hit ok and then select this light 01 hit q and find here ellipse tool and then hold ctrl shift and alt make sure to select this light 01 and you can also reposition this circle while you're holding ctrl shift and alt you can also hold spacebar ok something like this now go here in the facts and preset find ramp effect drag and drop onto the lights and for the first color go somewhere around here second color somewhere around here let's change first color to maybe this type of blue color i'm just showing you the way of course you will play around with your colors something like this hit ok and now open up this mask property and for the mask feather let's go to around 250 something like this and here you can play around in the blending modes opacity and everything else Maybe to go to around 50%. Now hit V and move it somewhere around here. Now let's select this light 01 again. Hit Ctrl plus D. Move it maybe around here. In every moment you can go here and change colors. I don't know. This is going to be this one. Just random colors. Hit OK. You can also hit S for scaling to scale down this circle. And now when we hit zero, we have also cool looking light here and here and you can duplicate this one as many times as you want this is looking awesome and when we hit zero this is looking great all right guys now it's time to pre-compose everything hit ctrl plus a or go right click pre-compose this is gonna be part 
01, hit OK. Now let's also duplicate this part of one here in the project window, select it and then go edit and then duplicate. And let's drag and drop this part of one here in the finals. But before that, let's change duration of our final composition. Make sure that you're here in the final comp, go composition, composition settings. And for the duration, I will go to around 20 seconds or type as many seconds as you want, hit OK. Then let's select this part O2, move it to around maybe five seconds. Then open up this part again, find here this mat for our background, hit Ctrl plus C to copy it, go here in the finals and paste it. And now just reposition it here in the finals, move it somewhere around here. And let's go and select this part alpha mat. And as you can see, we also have transition of our part O2 and this is looking awesome this is our part 01 and then this is our part 02 what you can do next is to repeat the process right click find here also layer styles find stroke change colors to white and then hit ok and now as you can see our animation is looking awesome what you can do is to also go here in part 02 and just replace this media 01 with the new footage and this media background also with the new footage and you will have your own cool slideshow. Grab everything, move it slightly to the left just not to see this first frame somewhere around here. Hit zero and this is looking awesome. First and this is gonna be second slide. One thing we have forgotten to do, open up this part 01, OK, and go right click to create another solid layer. And this is going to be CC Jaws, OK, also 1920 by 1080, hit OK, go here in the facts and preset, find CC Jaws effect, OK. And for the completion, let's go to around 75, something like this. And let's also add fill effect to see our cool white color. Hit OK and for the shape instead of spikes go to waves and here basically you can play around with the direction I will go somewhere around here and also for the width instead of this 10 move it to around 20 OK and let's animate our direction set up the first keyframe here at 0 frames and then go to around 7 seconds and let's go and type here random numbers somewhere around here around 70 and now when we hit 0 we have this cool animation of our CC Jaws solid layer. What we can do is to duplicate this mat once again, hit Ctrl plus D, move it here. And let's also find this uh, for the track mat alpha mat and our Jaws will be inside of our mat mask. Hit zero and this is looking cool. Now what we can do is to select this CC Jaws and mat, hit Ctrl plus C, go here in part 02 and then paste it. And we have also here this cool CC Jaws effect. And in the finals, this is our first animation. And as you can see, this is our second animation. And this is looking awesome. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. Just play around with this cool technique. I have shown you the cool way to create your own intro, your own slideshow. You can use this uh, technique to create various different styles. For this particular tutorial, this was corporate slideshow. You can also create fashion slideshows. I don't know, YouTube intro, promos, and so many more. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Take a look on my channel, on my profile for more great tutorials. Also, you can leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.